Alrighty, boys, we got a new patch, and people are not going to be happy about it. But not for the reasons that you think, okay? Um, yeah, let's get into it. So we uh, we have patch 1.1.1, and um, for some reason, this is listed on Steam as the live version, and the um, the 1.1.0 one that, we, uh, that was moved to live is now listed as the beta version. I think this was done just for, um, I guess in terms of like, you know, on Steam you have to label something either as beta or live, so you can have both versions. Regardless of the fact, if this is the live version, that means that uh, people on consoles, uh, they will also get it, you know, the Playstations, the Xboxes, you guys will also get this patch, but it is not very large, the patch is not very large at all. You might be thinking to yourself, okay, I see a little bit of crash fixes, anything else? Boom! That's it, boy. That's it. That's all we get. That's it. Hey, listen. Um, now you might be wondering, why did this happen? What's going on? Why is it like this? Well, what we uh, saw before, let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I really should have loaded this before, but hey, you know what time it is. Um, it goes on the other page. So we went over this, I went over a lot of these dev posts, by the way, if you want to know what all these dev posts are talking about, and me actually talking about the dev posts, I'm going to link the video down below, I made a video yesterday talking about all these dev posts, but pretty much what, um, what they were talking about here, I don't know if I can find it exactly here, uh, right here, right now the priority is responding with the notable issues raised with 1.1.0, especially the save load issues that some users are experiencing, so some people can't load, I mean, uh, load their saves, um, on PlayStation, I heard there's a big problem on PlayStation actually. Um, I just couldn't find any information, that's why I didn't make a separate video on it. But, uh, as you can see, they are talking about it here. And then he says, sometime after that, we could expect the new beta release. So this actually is not the new beta. This is um, a patch that they're pushing to live as fast as possible because it does actually help you with a lot of crashes. Okay, so let's read what it actually has in store. So, uh, for single player, uh, they only got single player modding. They fix the crashes that occur when ending missions, which is important. Missions, or quests, there's a lot of them. You have to do them, really, if you want to, you know, progress. Well, you don't have to do them, but it's, uh, it's a detriment if you don't do them, right? Next, they fix the crashes that occur when occupying an alley. Again, new mechanic. Uh, I heard there are some, because I made some alley videos, uh, kind of like how to get alleys kind of quick. It'll be down below as well if you need it. All right? But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so pretty much whenever you were occupying it, another crash would happen, also bad. And fix a crash that occurred when loading a saved game. That was the big one on PlayStation, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it was on Xbox as well. Obviously, a lot of saves and stuff was mixed up when the whole, uh, I don't want to say like the, I don't want to say drama, but the whole fiasco happened where they had to take the patch back and then put it back up again. You know what I mean? Some people say it's got really messed up because of that, but this should help it, right? And then for modding, obviously, if you're a modder, there you go. Fixed two crashes, one for generating terrain and one for auto-generating the nav mash using the generate grids button. I have no clue what that means, but hey, shouts out. No more crashes for that stuff. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, already, uh, I already looked through some of these comments, and uh, it's actually not too bad yet. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people haven't seen this yet. Because we're only at one page. Once this hits like three, four pages, oh baby, we're gonna have some very uh, good, good, uh, productive conversations, as, you, as I would like to put it. But also, uh, the dev respondent says we are still looking at some uh, potential issues with save and load, but this patch includes a fix for the most frequent problem. From what we could tell, maybe it will solve things for you. There it is. And by the way, this was released on a Saturday. They usually do not work Saturday and Sunday, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I can kind of uh, show you a little bit of the commitment that, you know, they're putting in. They said, listen, our free day will still work and uh, get you out of patch so you guys can play the game. I think that's uh, pretty wholesome, pretty good. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. But, yeah, if you were having problems with your save and load games, uh, go check it out. Maybe it was fixed. Maybe it was fixed. Maybe it wasn't fixed. Uh, you know, if you have any uh, further comments for the devs that you want them to kind of look into, Let's say, for example, it wasn't fixed. You can always go on this uh, thread and talk to them as well. I'll leave a link to that down below as well. But uh, yeah, that's patch 1.1.1. Obviously, uh, it's a live patch, but technically, it's not the big new patch that adds all, you know, the shiny stuff, as I like to call it, like the new features, the new uh, armors, all that stuff. This isn't that patch. This is just to really help with uh, save and load. And the reason it's seen as the new live patch, which usually, you know, 
which usually it, 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 the beta goes into the live patch, but this this was made into a live patch so everybody can get it, not just people on Steam. But that'll do it for me, and I'll see you in the next one.